Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Apologise for the way that I look. It's a Sunday today and I've got no makeup on and I've had to dash to Lidl's to get supplies because everyone, obviously as you know, coronavirus is just taking over. Where I live, everyone is kind of stockpiling and panic buying a lot of their stuff and there was a lot of stuff that I needed to get. So I went down for when it opened and I managed to get everything. Um, in total, I spent £67, which in Lidl's terms is quite a lot for me. We usually spend about £30 a week doing like a weekly top-up shop. But today I took the opportunity to basically get everything that we need because they're going to be enforcing more like regulations in terms of how many things you can buy. Um, and there was stuff that genuinely we needed that we haven't been able to get for a little while because obviously the way that everyone is buying. So today I have actually separated all my shopping and I wanted to talk you through everything that I managed to get, things that we got, kind of meal ideas and the way that we're kind of preparing, I suppose, for if you know coronavirus hits us and we have to be more careful so Heidi's currently watching some cartoons on the tv and I'm going to talk you through this as quickly as possible I apologize if you can hear Heidi's like cartoons in the background but I wanted to just talk you through the main thing that I went in Lidl's to get was some nappies so she's currently in the size five Lidl's nappies and I managed to get two loads there were other parents kind of running straight for the nappies like I did um, so I just got two because these will last probably um, three to four weeks I think these two packs so hopefully by then we might be able to get more but I just needed to get two lots because I didn't want to like go crazy and buy any more than that um, these ones are packs of 72 and like I said size fives so I got two of those um Lidl's are the only nappies that she wears so it wouldn't be a case of getting something else because she always gets nappy rash so I really wanted to get those um and in the same kind of breath baby wipes have been impossible to get hold of the last couple of weeks I have been trying to find baby wipes for so long um, and we're literally on our last pack so I got a pack here um, and in total I got one, two, three, four packs of Lidl's baby wipes because you know I haven't been able to get them so if I ran out you know we genuinely need them so yeah I got four packs of those which even though that might seem excessive, I know that these will last us like, well, probably like six to eight weeks, if not longer. So, you know, we've got plenty, so I don't need to buy any anymore. We've got what we need. Um, talking of toiletries, I got some more twin blade razors. These are from the CN men ones because these are a lot cheaper than the women's ones. As per razors everywhere, always get the men's ones because you get more in a pack and they're much cheaper. Another thing we've been really struggling to get hold of are tissues. Um, so I managed to get a pack. We don't need more than that. There were people that were throwing like 10 in their trolley at one time. I just got the one and obviously you can see here it's got really wet because it's been raining. Um, but just got one pack of those because Heidi has got a bit of a like sniffly cold, not the coronavirus but she just got a bit of a runny nose. So we always have tissues in the background. And then probably the most coveted thing that when I went in Lidl's, I went when it opened and they had no big packs of toilet roll. So these are not the ones I usually buy, but these were the only ones they had left. Um, I know I got three packs, but again, I now know that we've got some. We've not been able to get toilet roll for probably about a week and a half. And again, we're like running low. So I just got three packs of those. There were still plenty of these ones for other people. That again, there were people that were throwing like 10 in their trolley at once, which is, unless they're buying it for other people, I don't know. But um, if it's just for them, that seems quite excessive. But, you know, we have got a pack of three. So that should hopefully last us a little while. Um, two aloe vera ones and a sheer butter ones. I think these were like £1.65 or something, which again, we don't normally buy these ones. And it's more plastic when you buy these, but there isn't an option to get bigger packs, unfortunately, at the moment. I also got some Colgate whitening and fresh breath toothpaste. No one was really stockpiling toothpaste, so um, I've just got one for us. And I also got two packs of paracetamol. I'm not quite sure where the other pack is, but... Um, 
I just wanted to get some of this because again genuinely we're running out of paracetamol and it's been like gold dust to try and find so by going into Lidl's when it opened I managed to get two packs I think it's limited to two packs per customer as well so I got some of those I then also got two of the Lidl's deodorants these are like 60p a can and again there were very very little amounts of these left people were throwing in like six into their trolley I got two because I, this is the deodorant I normally wear and again I should be all right for a little while by having these okay so other general food including fridge food and like cupboard food I'll start off with the most basic um four pints of milk normally get six but they had no six pints of milk at all in Lidl's um so I just got this four pint because I can only get what they've got um I got some closed cut mushrooms because I which I'll show you in a minute but I also got some bolognese so I will use it in a bolognese um, these were what was on offer this weekend, um, ground coffee, I've mentioned before but Rich has a ground coffee machine and it's a little coffee that he actually likes the most so I got him this one which is a Kenyan roast and ground coffee and this is like the three strength one and then I also got this one here um, and this is a five strength one so he can choose how strong he wants his coffee but these were what was on offer and these were by it the front door as you go into Lidl so I just picked up two I got these split yogurts these are like Miller Corners but the Lidl's version really really nice and I'm actually working from home so um, I just had stuff like that that I can like have in the fridge and snack on whilst I'm working from home I also got a cucumber um, I didn't get any lettuce or anything because they had like two left and I don't know how much I'll actually eat it but cucumber I like to have with meals so I got one of those I managed to get some Lidl's extra mature cheese um, I've got mild cheese that Heidi has in the fridge which I got from Tesco's a couple of weeks ago which is fine for her but I got this one for us again people were just buying cheese by the dozen loads so the fact I managed to get one felt like a bit of a success um, and I also got Heidi some soya unsweetened milk this was very hard to get um, I had to open like the last crate and they had loads of sweetened one but I got unsweetened because sweetened has extra sugar um, and because Heidi has soya milk we're introducing milk at the moment into her diet so she has this with cereal um, and you go through one like a week so I just got those just so we've got enough in the cupboard and then I got two of these bolognese pasta sauces with onions and herbs and you might be able to tell here I got some penne pasta I've got I think I got six bags of that in total just because Heidi can't really like eat spaghetti she never really eats it um, but penne pasta she eats really really well um, and again we haven't managed to find penne pasta anywhere locally Tesco's or Lidl's or anywhere so the fact they had it um, they actually had like a new delivery of it and there was loads so I didn't feel bad picking up six maybe a little bit like too excessive but again I know that it's in the cupboard then and I won't need to buy any more whereas some people might just keep buying it because they're panicking but this will be enough for us for a good while and then to go with pasta too I got these meatballs these are chicken meatballs with a rich tomato sauce I got four of those in total these are good because they go in your cupboard they're really easy pasta dishes should it come to like an emergency situation and um, you have to like genuinely eat like things that you have in the cupboard I don't know how bad this coronavirus is going to get so having things like this is good because they make really easy meals they're dairy free as well and yeah I really like those I also got one of these Cola XX so basically this is the little version of Pepsi Max um, they had quite a few of these so I just got the one um, me and Rich like having coke we have like Pepsi Max cans but I just saw this and I thought oh, I'll pick one up anyway um, we also got a pack of bananas red seedless grapes surprisingly not many of those left either this morning so I got a pack of those I don't need any more than one pack because that lasts us a week then from the bread side of things I got four brioche burger buns because Rich actually wants to take these in for work this week for his sandwiches um, I got some seeded farmhouse bread this is really nice and we always have seeded bread and so does Heidi so I got one of those um, and then I also got some sliced fruit loaf I love this um, and then I'm going to give some to Heidi for lunch excuse that 
disgusting tissue in the background um but yeah she's gonna have some of this for lunch and again it's dairy free so i thought that might make a quite a nice little change but i didn't like to stockpile bread i don't need to freeze it or anything we hopefully shouldn't get that bad um but we shall see and then moving over here it's more like snack things again i usually wouldn't buy this many but Lidl's was so hectic and stressful that the more I can avoid going there with a like 15 month old the better because she was hating it, I was hating it so hopefully this will basically will keep us going for a couple of weeks. Um, multi bag share pack of crisps, this is like such good value, really really cheap and I really like them so does Rich, he takes them for work. I got some bourbon biscuits because these are like 40p and really nice obviously. Um, even in a pandemic you need tea and biscuits um, I got some little Jaffa cakes I've mentioned before but we prefer these ones to normal Jaffa cakes and again you need Jaffa cakes in case of an emergency um, I got some crunchies I'm actually gonna make some fudge and I use crunchy in that so um, I got some of that I then got two packs of sugared waffles one here and one there Rich loves these for work again. Unfortunately, they are individually wrapped, which is so silly, but um, they didn't have much choice. So I got two packs of those because, again, the less I can go to Lidl's, the better. So there's those. And then I also got some um, basically chocolate croissants because if I'm working from home this week, these are quite easy to like warm up and will be quite a nice either breakfast or lunch. So um, I thought I'd just treat myself to those. And then lastly, freezer bits. I got the pack of three margarita pizzas. These are really good. We like basically using this as a bit of a base and then we add on anything that we want to add on to it. Um, and these are really, really cheap, even if it's like loads of extra cheese or if we've got like ham or chicken or something like that that we need to use up we like to use these as a base and then we'll cook them and because we're introducing cheese back into Heidi's diet these will be quite good for her to try too I also got Heidi some potato waffles because they're really cheap in Lidl's and Tesco Rich had to buy some like two weeks ago when the whole like panic buying first started and he could only get the really expensive ones so when I saw these I thought I'll get those because again if in the situation where we can't get much shopping then Heidi will be fine with those. I got some more veggie burgers because these are the nicest veggie burgers ever. Um, really really nice. I don't have them with a bun, I just have them like as a naked burger and so does Heidi with sweet potato fries much like that photo. Even though their salad toppings look much nicer than what I normally do but again really easy dinner and they can be in the freezer. And then, as standard, a pack of 15 fish fingers for Heidi too because these are really nice. They're also dairy free too if you do have like little ones that have a dairy allergy. And again, those and potato waffles are an easy dinner. And the last thing I got was some steak mince meat because a bolognese is really easy. I can make that, add extra tomatoes and stuff like that and then hopefully freeze some for the week. So yeah, that's everything that I managed to get. So I hope this video has been insightful on how my panic buying situation was this morning. Honestly, I go to Lidl's the same time every week. So I always go, when it opens on a Sunday, I've never had to queue to get in before. It was bedlam in there. People were really like, fighting for things, pushing people out of the way. I've never seen it like that, it's crazy. So yeah, I'm pleased with what I've got. We've got everything that we needed, which is the most important thing. Um, and then obviously, I just feel so sorry for the people that aren't able to get to places like that, like people that are disabled and elderly, because there was just no consideration the way that people were literally throwing in 12 or 20 things in their trolley. You just think, how on earth? Do you need all that but you know you don't know it was just crazy i've never seen it like that before so um yeah that's why i'm looking like this because it was a case of like let's get up and go because it was bedlam but yeah i hope this video has been helpful i know you guys really enjoy my littles grocery hauls so i hope that you did enjoy this one give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe down below for more and i'll see you guys soon bye